In this video today, I'll be showing you all how to download Windows 11 on your M1, M2, and M3 Macs using this app called UTM. And I'll be showing you where to download Windows 11 from and how to set it up. And UTM can be found by clicking the first link in the description along with the Windows 11 guide, which will be the second link. And going over to the first link, just go ahead and download UTM from the first website. Go ahead and save it to an easy to access folder. Go ahead and click on the DMG file it downloaded to open it. And then go ahead and drag and drop UTM in your applications. Then you can go ahead and eject UTM from Finder. And if you'd like, you can also delete the .dmg file to save space. Next up, go to the second link where we can download Windows 11. Just click on Guide. Then scroll down and you're going to want to download this app called Crystal Fetch because that's where you can receive the Windows 11 ISO from. And that's available on the Mac App Store. Just go ahead and click on download on the App Store and it should redirect you to the Apple App Store. I've already downloaded it before so I can just click this cloud icon here but if you haven't it's going to ask you for your password although it's free. Once that's done downloading go ahead and click on open. Then since we're on Apple Silicon you're going to want to click on Windows 11, Apple Silicon and then simply make sure you have Windows 11 selected and then click on download and agree to the terms. While that's downloading, we can go back to the guide and see what our next steps are. As you can see, we've already completed step one, which is downloading the ISO file. And we can now go ahead and open up UTM from our applications folder. And if it's your first time using it, it's going to verify it and then ask if you want to open it, which you can. And now within UTM, you're going to want to create a new machine, select virtualize, select Windows, make sure you have Windows 10 or higher checked. Make sure you don't have import VHDX because we have not created one yet. And once the ISO file is done downloading, you're going to want to go ahead and select Browse next to Path here. Once it's done downloading in the app here, you can go ahead and select where you want to download it to. I'm just going to save it to a folder I just created called Windows 11. And now we have our ISO file. Next, go back into UTM and like I said before, go to Path and then click Browse and select the ISO file we just downloaded. Click on Open. Then click Continue. I usually give the system about half of my available RAM, which is four gigs for me since my system has eight. I would leave the CPU cores default. You can select how much storage you want the drive to eventually occupy. It doesn't do this at first, but it gives it an availability of 100. It'll only take up the space you use. You can add a shared folder if you'd like. I'm not gonna do that now. And then go ahead and give the system a name. Then check open VM settings and click save. And if all of your system settings here match mine, you can click on save. Now we can try to boot the machine. And on the first boot, it's going to say press any key to boot from the ISO, which make sure you do that so we can boot in the installer. Click next, select your keyboard. And you don't have to add a product's key right away, however you can do that later. Select your edition, agree to the terms again. It'll locate the disk that we created, which like I said before, it's not going to take up the full 100 gigs. It's only going to take up what it needs. And now I'll begin installing. And once it reboots, make sure you don't press any keys because it will boot from whatever it just installed. And after a couple restarts, it should bring you into the Windows setup menu. Now we can continue with the Windows setup as if we were on a normal Windows laptop. Go ahead and enter a name, a password. And after a couple more minutes, we'll boot it into the Windows desktop where we'll have to install the Spice Guest tools. But after that, this will be all set up and ready to go.
Like I said, the last step is now installing the drivers, which UTM should have automatically mounted for you within the folders. Within File Explorer, look for a CD drive that has a file called UTM Guest Tools. Go ahead and double click that to run it. And this will basically install our display and internet drivers for us, along with improving the overall speed of the virtual machine. Agree to the terms. And as you can see, we now have internet. And that flashing the display, was it updating the resolution? Next, to select you want to reboot manually later, and then click on finish. Now go ahead and shut down the virtual machine from the Windows menu in the bottom. Once it's completely shut down, go back into UTM and you can go to the CD DVD drive. You can clear out the Spice Guest tools along with the Windows ISO file. And if you'd like to save like six gigs, go ahead and delete the ISO file as we've installed Windows and no longer need it. And now we can go ahead and boot up our Windows Virtual Machine. Like I said before, if it says to press any key to boot from the ISO, you don't have to do that now that Windows installed. And if we'd like as well, we can also put it in a full screen now. And there we have it. That's Windows 11 installed on your M1, M2, or M3 MacBook Air. And this process only takes about 30 minutes, so it is pretty simple to do if you need to run Windows apps or anything Windows related on your Mac. Thank you for watching.